you somehow managed to find yourself a suspended boulder between two cliffs, please don't try this at home. Something tells me even the PGA Tour's newest driving spectacle isn't adopting practice tactics like that. Cameron Champ is so talented though that he was able to give us the good, bad, and unusual all-in-one tee shot this week at the RSM Classic. It started out bad, got a little unusual around the middle, and ended up good. Really good, I believe. Oh, wow. it just misses that fairway bunker. But that's why these guys practice, even from 41,000 feet, right, Bubba? And we've been practicing a little short game, okay? You're welcome. Maybe that's why there were so many hole outs this week. Round one had three itself. Champ got the party started. JJ Spawn kept it going. And former RSM Classic champ Mackenzie Hughes decided to make it a trend. And how fun is this? Amateur Garrett Barber made the cut and added to the chip in total. But Webb Simpson had the best one of the tournament. How about, oh, that's a deuce. This putt was so long, it might as well have been a chip in. Falling in a playoff, Patrick Rogers put himself in the mix from 85 feet on Sunday. But it was this 22-footer that was the most special. Charles Howe III winning for the first time in 11 years in a two-hole playoff at Sea Island. At long last, Charles Howe III is back in the winner's circle. I'm telling you, these guys are no joke, unless you're Ben Crane and Aaron Baddeley, in which case you have some pretty epic dad jokes. I used to hate facial hair, and then it grew on me. What did Michael Jackson call his denim store? Billy Jean. Billy Jeans. I think I get a point for that. You get a point for that one, yeah. Only dads can tell jokes like that, and only Charles Barkley can ask tiger questions like this. When you throw a gun ball, you have to come on home and shave your head. Or you can be like Ernie and hold on for dear life. Mm. Right now, you're in the Ernie category. <laughs> have, you, have you decided or are you thinking about when you're going to shave your head? No, I'm still coming forward. <laughs> oh, man. The match this week is going to be interesting. And so is the World Cup of Golf in Australia. Mexico's first player to crack the top 100, Abraham Anser, won the Australian Open this week and will be there. Another recent winner, Matt Kuchar, will represent Team USA with Kyle Stanley in the World Cup. I'll cover both the World Cup and the match in the takeaway starting really early on Thursday. See you then.